So uh, you know what? We are enjoying some much deserved sunshine because yesterday it was very soggy pretty much most of the day. Thankfully, it's not raining cats or dogs. Sorry, I had to <laughs> right now. But, but, um, bumch. but later on, we are going to see the potential for some heavy rain <laughs> right now. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. You know, as you're getting ready for lunch, the good news is the weather is cooperating for now. But make sure you have your umbrella because as we head into the mid to late afternoon, we'll see those storms firing up. Hey, there's a gorgeous this view from our Key West camera. Actually, the Keys have been enjoying plenty of sunshine so far. The clouds have been mainly over Broward and Date earlier this morning and now have since cleared up. And now that we have that sunshine in place and the heating of the day, all the ingredients are going to come into play to produce some stormy weather for some. And the breeze is out of the southeast as well, 9 to 10 miles an hour. Uh, this is something serious to talk about. These are the current feels like temperatures, and I want to show you this because it's quite impressive. It feels like the triple digits in fact, it feels close to 105 in Fort Lauderdale and 103 in Marathon. And that's because the atmosphere is so moist. And that's part of the reason that we'll likely see those scattered storms later on. But really, with that kind of high humidity, you want to make sure you're staying hydrated. And we're seeing those feels like temperatures already into the triple digits. And we're only here at 12, 18 p.m., right? So 90 degrees a high. But you see those storms will be developing on future radar as we get into 1 p.m. That's what this model is depicting. And then 2 p.m. The storms will start to track towards the metro areas. So some heavy rain will be possible as we get into around 3, 4, 5 p.m. Unfortunately, during rush hour, really bad timing. But yes, we could see some more flooding since the ground's already saturated from all the heavy rain that fell yesterday. And yesterday, Miami-Dade County got hit hard, especially in the evening hours. So we could see another round of those heavier storms impacting the same spots. And then it looks like by the evening and late tonight, we'll be clearing things out and quieting things down. If you're headed to the beach, you're going to be out in the sun. The UV index is very high, so make sure you have plenty of sunblock, low risk of rip currents. Uh, no advisories for boaters. Wind south, southeast, 5 to 10 knots, seas 2, and a light chop on the base. And tonight, warm and muggy, a few showers with the upper 70s. In the tropics, there is one area, non-tropical low-pressure system, that is forecast to develop later this week. Over the next five days, the National Hurricane Center is giving this just a low potential, a 20% chance of developing as it meanders here near the southeast coast and near the coast of North Florida, Georgia, as well as South Carolina. And then the rest of the tropics, thankfully, quiet for now. And that is due in part because of the Saharan dust that I've been mentioning to you that is going to continue to track across the Atlantic. Eventually, it's going to move across the Caribbean heading into Friday and then could be near us as we head into the weekend. It's incredible to see it even gets into Texas likely. So yeah, we stay hot and humid. The rain chance is going to be high again for the weekend.